Hey YouTube, today we're going to talk about picks, selecting picks, selecting sizes of picks. Picks come in different colors, different shapes, different sizes, different thicknesses, different material. Today I'm going to demonstrate sonical differences between the pick we choose and the sound that it creates. Choosing your pick, I guess what you want to think about is what kind of music are you going to be playing? You want to think about the sound you want to have. If you're just learning, you could probably choose anyone, but I would recommend a medium sized pick, a medium thickness pick. However, if you're already playing at this point, you might want to, you know, try and experiment with a few different picks. I have for the longest time been playing with this one here. Uh, the reason I choose this pick is because it's, it's very thick doesn't bend, so some picks will bend, uh, but like a thin pick, you can see, it really bends. First I'm going to play something with my regular pick. Now I'm gonna play something with the Fender Medium. It's it's a medium-sized pick. It does have some bend to it, and I imagine it's gonna sound really good for strumming. Now I'm gonna play with a Fender Thin pick, which is very thin. And this is probably gonna be excellent for strumming. It's gonna give it a very nice woody kind of tone. <laughs> Now I'm going to play with a Dunlop Jazz 3 style pick. Now I'm going to play with a pick that's made out of a credit card. They actually sell these punchers, so this is, it feels like a medium pick, actually. You know, somebody gave it to me. I think that it's a cool little toy, and I personally don't like the tone from this, but you could be the judge. <laughs> Now I'm going to use the big stubby three millimeter pick. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I'm going to use a felt pick. So this is the same kind of material that is used on the hammers of an acoustic piano. This one side is, is completely flat, the other side has a slight profile. I don't know why they made it like that. They should have maybe made it with profile on both sides. It has a very interesting sound to it. So there you have it. Each pick offers a, a very distinct tone and um, above all, they feel different. So it does become a very personal thing. Um, a lot of guitarists end up carrying picks in their pockets because it is as much an extension of your guitar and your playing and your skill as anything else, you know. So my impressions are really that, you know, I, I like my pick and I, I just like to play with my pick. I play with the Dunlop 2mm and I'm happy, you know. I used to experiment a little bit more when I was just learning um, and I still have tons of picks because each pick, like I said, each pick offers a very distinct tone. So I would say if you are struggling to find another tone or sound that you want your guitar to sound more like, if, you know, experiment. Um, there are some guidelines. I would say use thinner picks for strumming and thicker picks for uh, leads, picking intense single string. They give you more dexterity. Uh, the more flexible they are, the less dexterity that you really have when you're playing uh, single line passages where you're hitting one string and one note and you're moving to the next thing. Uh, whereas the thinner picks, they, they give way more. And so if you're strumming, they give you a, a more percussive effect. I say, if you are open to it, you should, try, you should try different picks. Sometimes you need that sound. Thin and the medium both provide a slightly similar tone that's great for strumming because they are slightly more flexible and as you're striking all the strings with your pick you are actually creating a slightly more percussive sound because of the bending and the slapping of the pick against the string when it leaves the string it passes whereas a pick like the gator two millimeter it's very hard right so it's not gonna bend it's not gonna give you that percussive sound but because it's also thick and, and sturdy. It's really good for lead work and really good for volume. You can get more volume because it's hard. You can put more of your force into the pluck. You can have more of a brighter tone. What I found very hard to do right now was to play big and stubby because of its, its ridges like that. I just don't want to hold it, you know. I kept I kept struggling just to strum and hold the pick in hand. Another crazy one was the felt tip. Both sides were different. It was just weird. Another thing was the Jim Dunlop. Seems like I have a lot of Jim Dunlop picks. I'm not sponsored by them though, just so you know. It's just the shape, right? It's so small as, as opposed to the other picks. It really felt awkward uh, because I'm used to the regular size of picks. Almost twice the size of, of the Jazz 3, right? So it just, it becomes muscle memory. Man. So you really have to keep that in mind. Be consistent with the pick you choose. Find the one you like and stick with that for a while, I would say. Mm -hmm.